Good day everyone, Nat Sharky Shorten here, back for another episode tonight. Very simple, we're keeping it nice and uh, simple here, we're just after a little bit of bait. Only got two and a half eels left in the freezer, after that horrible incident that occurred a little while back, we still haven't quite restocked. Um, so tonight we're fishing at Tigham Lagoon, it's a big fat body of water out here, what if West is a pelican over there actually is pretty funny uh, it's a pretty decent sized body of water um, and usually there is uh, quite a few eels here probably best remembered from my show from the uh, infamous possum incident um, yeah that's those were good times. so anyway tonight we're not after possums we're not after carp we're just here for a bit of eel got the same rig running on all three of my lighter rods um, it's just a simple bait holder oh this is a huge leader 20 pound leader whatever the main line happens to be which is 15 pound on this and six pound on the other two uh, and a nice heavy ball sinker i'm going to cast them into the areas where i think the fish are going to be i think weeds on each side is going to be promising but um yeah i'm just hoping to get amongst a few fish let's get these out and get into it one in the deep there one in the uh, shallows over there one in the shallows over there I'm backing the uh, ones closer to the weeds to go first. That's what's uh, that's what's happened here recently. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm using really heavy sinkers on all of them. So we're going to hit the deck and hopefully get past these little perch and tilapia and shit that reside around. Usually they bugger off at night anyway. So fingers crossed we can get on a few. I did also realise I didn't bring any plastic bags, so I don't know what to do if we do get one or two eels. Shout out to, uh, see I can't even read that, Chaz? Chaz Louie forever? Good on you Chaz Louie. Wait, is that meant to be two, no that should be two names, Chaz and Louie. Wait, Chaz and Lou. Alright, whoever the fuck named those people are pretty, uh, pretty average. They don't deserve love with names like that. Anyway, let's get some fish. Yeah. There's a fish. Ooh. There's a fish. That's on. Now, eel. Question, is it an eel? Jeez, it's pretty heavy. This is promising, very promising stuff. All right, just had to make sure that the camera was going then because it's been a bit of a pain. This is not an eel, so I'm pretty sure it's not an eel. Very strange fight if it is an eel. And this will be a fork tail. A pretty big fork tail. Quite a big fork tail. Jesus. Oh my god. Monster fork tail, if it is a fork tail. Oh, he's right under there, too. Look at that. Oh, right under there. <laughs> Come out. No. Nah. No, wants to stay. Oh Jesus, this is a fish, guys. <laughs> There's not much I can do right now. God damn. Oh, I'm gonna need to jump this, I think, because this is pretty big. And if it touches that bridge, that's a bit of a worry. Fuck, I hope this is an eel. Oh, he's coming up to the surface. Gotta keep the pressure on him. Uh, come out. Here we go. Here we go. Got him out. Let's see. Fork tail? Yeah. Fork tail. Damn. Really hope that would be an eel. But it's a pretty fun fight, all in all. First catch of the night. Could be worse. All right, there's our fish. Pretty healthy size fork tail, actually. Quite a uh, sizable model. One of the bigger ones from the lagoon I've caught. They don't get too big generally in here. You get a lot of small ones. He's probably gonna be kicking on that. Oh, we can measure him, actually. I was like, I lost my brag, Matt, when I lost my bag the other day, but I did not lose my chair. So, about to the eye, maybe about 45, so very healthy fork tail, we'll get him back. 
And uh, tell, the, tell your eel pals down there to come and play as well. Pretty good spear, there's a nice little flip. Points for style. All right, let's get this shit sorted and uh, out again. Fish. Oh baby, that's a fish. Get it out of the weeds. Yeah, we're on. All right. This was on the one to the left in the weed bed there on six pound line. I really hope this isn't a catfish, but it's not fighting like an eel, which makes me a bit worried. Oh, oh yep, that's not an eel. This might be another forktail. <laughs> He's kind of just walking us all over the joint right now. Yes. Oh, off he goes again. Wow, this is a nice fish. A pretty big one. Forktails have been pretty big tonight. We're gonna get dogged here. He's taking a lot of line. <laughs> he's, he's. We are gonna get fucked here, I reckon. I think he's gonna get under some weeds over the other side of the bank there. He, I'll tell you what, he's a while away. Now's the time to move him. We're gonna move him. Got him turned. Here we go. Oh, this is the shit. There we go. Now that we've turned him. And yeah, not so big now, are ya? Yeah. Flex on this guy. All right. Again, hopeful for an eel still, but it's definitely not an eel. It's fought like a big fish. Come on, buddy. Let's just get a bit of a glimmer. No, nope, we're still going. He is not coming in. Oh, that was a glimmer. There was a bit of a glimmer. I don't think he's as big as the first one. Jesus Christ, he does not want to come in at all. Yeah, he's a pretty pretty decent sized forktail. Pretty good sized forktail. Has anyone eaten forktail before? Because I know you can eat them. I've never done it. Um, and I wouldn't do it from in here, but uh, apparently their flesh is like underrated but underrated doesn't mean much when you're talking about catfish because they're so lowly rated as a food fish and as a fighting fish so yeah has anyone tried them and how good are they yeah i think maybe a little bit smaller than the first again pretty pretty enjoyable fight let's have a look Yeah, definitely a little bit smaller than the first. Actually, no, it's pretty much the exact same size. So, yeah, pretty much the same size as the first one there, guys. 45. See if we can get 50 soon, but it's a good start. Send him back. Oh, no. I've pulled it out of his mouth. Oh, you're kidding me. I really do feel like that was an eel too, just from how it was running. We've not got anything in like an hour and a bit. Be close to two hours now. It's nearing midnight and you know what? I do fancy a bit of a go, a bit of a squiz at the sharks. So I might head down there and see what happens. Oh, I've still got bait on this. That's, a, that's what I don't get. Sometimes they're a little hot, sometimes they're, well, most of the time they're not. No eels. Really thought we'd get an eel. Alright guys, since that second fish, we really have not had any luck. It's been an hour and a half to maybe two hours now since we've had a run on any of the rods. Fishing stuff, but we'll persist. We had those run we've had those runs, so we know there's fish out there, we just gotta wait in due time. Haven't had anything from an eel yet though, so that's always a bit of a worry, but back in a sin, persistence will pay off. Sean, oh just there, how about that? I thought, oh, I think it's an eel, I think it's an eel. Please, 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 
please, please, please. After like three hours of nothing, please be an eel. It's got to be an eel. Is it big enough for bait? I don't even know. It swam under the bridge. I didn't even realize. Wait, is it an eel or a catfish? I can't tell. Come up again. What is it? Yes, it's an eel. Come on. Yes. All right, we did it. And it's a nice one too, I must say. Oh my God, yeah, it's a perfect bait size eel. Come on guys. How long were we out here waiting for? On the six pound line it took on. Now can we get it in the net? That's the next challenge. I'll tell you what, it took us a while to be rewarded with this. It's, uh, it's yeah, this took a little longer than I would have wanted. I was hoping to get a bag tonight, but it looks like we're just gonna get one. I don't care. Oh, it's a nice one. That's a really nice bait size eel. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get in this net. Oh, you're so beautiful. Come on, please. This is a bait size. Come on, that's a bait size. That's a nice one. I'm gonna get like, I could catch four or five sharks with that eel right there. So I'm not unhappy at all. That's a really nice one. You wouldn't want it to be too much bigger than that. I want to chuck those, uh, those ba I'm getting way too ahead of myself. Come on. Come on, baby. No heartbreak, no heartbreak. Oh, God damn. Oh God, that was nearly heartbreak. Oh, son of a bitch. Come on, man. Please, please. Oh, don't get too carried away with this. You've got all the time in the world. It's a 20 pound liter. So it's not like there's a great deal of rush. But I just I just worry. I just worry. That's a perfect fish. What a fantastic end to this episode. It's about five minutes after I said we're gonna give it a little while longer. I was just winding in this rod. Come on baby, come on baby. Move that tail in. Yes! Come on! Yeah! Alright! That is a shark bait. I'm hype because I know what that means. That means five, maybe five sharks with that bait, with that fish alone. If they're going as hard as they have been, there's a few sharks in that right there. Come on! Shark bait. Yes! Ah, uh, no, why is it around the GoPro? Now, how to transport? I did totally forget to bring a bag. I've got nothing but Macca's rubbish down there. Is that all oh, that could work? Oh, it's Blake's bag. Blake, thank you for your sacrifice. Your bag's going to be very eely. All right, guys, it's a sad day. We ran out of plastic bag. The Naughty is an Aldi bag. It's the plastic plastic bag cutback has affected more than just people who are people who want a plastic bag to carry their iced coffee from the coals to the car. It's affected us shark bait fishermen. So I have to make do. Now is usually when I get someone to stand by and hold this open for me, but I am fishing solo. So let's best way to do this. It's just, not gonna work. Um alright, let's figure this out without getting too much eel slime on my patio. Thanks. Give us a hand, sorry. Give us a hand. Actually, I'll hold it up for the camera. There's our fish. Look at that. Nice shark bait. Oh, good stuff, guys. I'm so excited about that. Really good stuff. Exactly what we needed. Um, I might just use this bag inside out. That'll work. And into the freezer we go. So all in all guys, just wanted to say thank you for tuning in for this episode. We'll catch you in the next one. Likely to be shark fishing or more shark bait fishing. Hope you enjoyed this one. A little bit of diversity in the catch. Should be a pretty short one. So that should, should be enticing. Should be nice. Three catches all up. I'm here, obviously being the best. Hope you guys enjoyed. Nat, Shaki, Shorten. I'll catch you guys next time.